most important place in the world to me is known by one word, Yellowstone. Just that word has something sacred to it, something sacred in its meaning. Just the word Yellowstone evokes powerful emotions. This was a slime that I've been guiding for years from California. It fuels the imagination and spirit for those from all over the world. Yellowstone is a holy place for those whose temples are the mountains and the wilderness. That's one of my favorite summits. I've been at the top of a number of times. It's electric peak, the tallest peak in the Gallatin Mountains. It's a place that's filled with excitement and energy. It's a place of pilgrimage, a land that people from all over the world come to visit. These are some folks that I've, I've become very close to from Cameroon, Africa. Okay? This was the world champion wrestler for his weight class in Cameroon, Africa. I've become very good friends with him. And he was just blown away by the place that you saw home. That man, these kids are left. And this is a hard place to ever leave for people who visit here. But as I tell them, they will be back. Because it's knowing that there's still a place like Yellowstone that allows people to sleep at night. To go on in peace. It's a place where people of all ages, colors, and backgrounds can come and reconnect with the natural world. Here was an old man that told me, I want to catch a big brown truck. So I hiked him up into the Gardner River, and that's what he walked away with. It was a pretty special day. I could go to the happiest days of that man's life. And there's my little beautiful baby girl up on the Beartooth Plateau where I take her each and every year. And this is a place to become revitalized. And in this one's case, to find their place in the world. Now, people will say each and every night, my nickname is The Rev. People call me The Rev, or they call me Coach. You call me Coach. But people say, Coach, you're a dreamer. You're too romantic with the land. There's no place that can do all of this. But I will challenge any of those people. And I will tell them that there is still a place that can do all of this, and much, much more. And it's a place we simply know, ooh, yeah, I know what you're thinking. You know, and it's a place we know as Yellowstone. I bet you none of y'all have ever been there. This is a place I've been dreaming of going my entire life. And last fall, we made the 30-mile pilgrimage into the Voodoo Basin. And it was absolutely spectacular. Something I'll never forget. You know, this is a place that brings people from all over the world to see wild places, wild landscapes like the Voodoo Basin. And it's not just Yellowstone National Park. It's places like the Tetons, the Absorca, the Beartooth, the Paradise Valley. Mountain ranges with names like the Crazy Mountains bring people from all over this planet to see wildlife in their natural setting. And for some, such as myself, this is a place to start life anew. This is where I got married, and this is a place that has very spiritual significance to my ancestors, and it's now where I'm raising a proud fifth generation Idaho, Montana, Wyoming girl who loves nothing more than going out there and chasing trout with me and watching bison in the Lamar Valley. This is one of the things that makes this area so special. How many of you guys have ever hiked up into these mountains here in the south? Okay. You hike up on a mountain here. You go climb Emigrant Peak. And you can look out and you can see a landscape that has been virtually unchanged over the last 200 years. And yet we still have national forests, national parks, and small mountain towns all over the country. But they are not Yellowstone. I would say that's because there's no place on earth like where you call home. And I hope by the end of